All right, for this week's shot, we've got a great little shot, one that is very common. I'm up here in British Columbia. A lot of times up here in this mountainous country, you're spotting your animals on the edges of logging roads or things like that. Um, you use the wind in your favor. So in this case, I'll come in on a logging road that's above the target and I'm gonna wait for that target to be in a shootable position. There's a couple things to think about. One, that shot downhill, uh, if you don't make it right, most people are gonna shoot that target high. And the reason is, is because of angle. And a lot of people think that when you shoot longer downhill or uphill that you have to, to add or take away yardage depending on whether it's up or down. And that's not necessarily the case. What matters is your degree of angle and there's math that goes in that goes into that um, a lot of newer rangefinders take that math out of it and just to give you an example an older rangefinder i'll give a quick range this older rangefinder is 53 yards my new rangefinder has angle compensation it's 49.5 so you're looking at three and a half yards difference like i said most people would have shot this high so how does angle actually affect an arrow well really gravity affects an arrow as it travels from literally where i'm standing here in a direct line to where that target is if that target is lower or higher the steeper the angle technically the further that's going to range and it doesn't necessarily matter how much the angle is what matters is how far that target actually is from you directly in a horizontal line to that target so i guess maybe a quick way to, to describe that to you is if i was up here on a hill level with this cam shooting down to my knock this distance right here is longer let's just say it's 53 yards but the arc of the arrow is only affected by gravity on a horizontal plane. So really the distance from here to a direct line of that target, this distance is really what you have to know. So in this case, if you didn't have range compensation, I've actually got that target right under one of these tall trees. If I range the top of that tall tree right there, 49.5 yards okay so that's the distance that you need to know so we know the distance this was a hunting situation to make sure my feet are comfortable i'm going to stay behind this bush as i draw back i'm going to come into my shooting lane and be able to make my shot the other thing too is I've got a slight wind in my face i don't think it's enough to worry about really need to pay attention to your level your level especially if you have a quiver can start to fall over that's going to affect your lefts and rights so draw level anchor get into your peep sight center your peep center your housing and then slightly bend at your waist until you go down to acquire the target get your finger on the trigger and just continually slowly pull smoked perfect shot this is, this is an interesting little shot <laughs> it's pretty cool actually look at that we uh I've never actually shot the vein off my arrow and pinned it to the target. It's pretty cool. Shot my vein off the target, off the arrow, and perfectly stuck it to the target. That's pretty sweet. It hammered that arrow to you. It's pretty good. So, 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reverse that shot I'm gonna actually try to shoot uphill from closer so the angles steeper and we'll show you what that's like oh I might want to get a picture of that first <laughs> 